morning. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2015. I'm Carla Correa. Good news if you're worrying about the 2016 presidential election. Two more people have announced their bids. And I'm Hannah Barr. Can you imagine a world without elephants, hippos, or rhinos? Scientists can. Your CSN News starts now. The GOP presidential field grew by two Monday as retired neurosurgeon Ben Carson and former technology executive Carly Fiorina both announced they are running for president. The two new candidates enter a quickly growing GOP field with another Republican, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, set to make his announcement on Tuesday. Together, Carson and Fiorina add to their diversity on the Republican side. Fiorina would be the first, possibly only, female Republican in the race, while Carson would be the first black candidate of either party to enter the campaign. Nepal's government has asked hundreds of foreign rescue workers to leave the quake hit country as immediate relief has already been provided and the remaining tasks will be carried out by its army and police. The major rescue work in Kathmandu and surrounding areas is over and remaining operations can be handled by local workers, officials said. However, there was work remaining in the villages and remote mountainous areas that could be carried out by foreign aid volunteers along with local police and army. Some of planet Earth's large herbivores, elephants, hippos, rhinos, and gorillas among them, are vanishing from the globe at a startling rate, with some 60% threatened with extinction. A team of scientists reports. The situation is so dire, according to a new study, that it threatens to an empty landscape in some ecosystems across much of the planet Earth. Herbivores, it turns out, don't just wander around munching on grass. They play a vital role as eco ecosystem engineers, the paper said, expanding grasslands for plant species, dispersing seeds in manure, and in the ultimate sacrifice, providing food for predators. We'll be right back after this. Are you fascinated with science? If you said yes, you're in luck. Ms. Bowen has started a science club. It takes place on the first Tuesday of every month. They do tons of fun things, like they go to the Boise Zoo, the Discovery Center, and the Boise Aquarium. They also take trips to local colleges and some big businesses like Micron and Simplot. And if you're interested and you talk to Ms. Bowen, you can also participate in some science competitions at NNU. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Bowen or visit her in room C204. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 82 with a low of 52 and sunny. Tomorrow's high is 71 with a low of 42 and also sunny. St. Luke's is sponsoring a Canyon County Sports Physicals Clinic on Wednesday, May 13th, from 3 to 5 p.m. or 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Columbia High Gym. The cost is $20, no insurance needed. 100% of our fee is donated back to our school's athletic programs. Please wear loose clothing or shorts. Mark the date down and be there. Attention all ballroom dancers. The Element Ballroom Dance Team is holding auditions for next year. This is the Tri-School Team. We are looking for a few good men and women who love to dance and want to perform. Auditions will be held at Columbia in the main gym on today and tomorrow from 3 to 4 p.m. See Mrs. Whitmore for additional information. Today's SAT word of the day is disparage, which means to put down or to belittle. You can use it this way. Do not disparage the penguin because he cannot fly. Thanks for watching and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.